This is a 1953 Terra Track loader made by American Tractor Company. And basically a case, a newer, uh, the, uh, it would be the case is the newer version of this. They took over. This has a Continental engine in it. Um, it's a pretty tight machine. You can see all the pins and bushings. Everything on it, there's no leaks. It's gotten a new water pump, a new belt, fluids, some hoses for the radiator. It uh, runs good, it drives good, it digs good. It's a pretty tight machine with I don't think many hours on it. If I knew how to tell. This is what the hours show. I'm not sure if that's 400 or 4,000. Maybe somebody out there knows. The lights don't work. That's about the only thing. Other than that, everything holds fluid. Nothing leaks on it. And it's a pretty decent machine. We're going to start it up and let you hear it. Go ahead, start that thing up. Pick up the bucket. Do a little bit of gas. Place the battery, it's got a new battery and a new starter switch. The rollers are all tight, everything takes grease. Go ahead, operate that. Start it back up. I don't know. I think you gotta either push it full forward for it to go. You gotta push it full forward to go. Just full forward on this? It's yeah. Just... One or the other. It's one or the other. You can't go a little bit, it's gotta be full forward. Give it a little bit of gas when you're using the hydraulics. Go ahead, go up. the bucket down. Pick it back up. Go on and put it in first, second.
real nice. Go ahead. Watch that pole. Go ahead. Shut it off and start it back up. Let's see, I think water temperature gauge is the only thing that don't. Everything's pretty decent on this machine. I don't think it has, like I said, many hours on it. The fuel tank was replaced, as you can see. There's somebody put a, uh, a round tank on the back instead of the old tank, which I do think these do rot out. But other than that, it's in pretty decent shape. Everything's lubed up. It sounds good. It runs good. So there you got it.